Hi everyone! So for today's video, we are going to talk about Shopify. So we are going to create a Shopify account. So let's proceed. Let's go to Shopify.com. So let me share my screen. Let's start. Shopify.com. Here you go. So we are going to use a free trial account. So input your email so that you can start the free trial. Now you can start a wow, 90 day trial. So let's input a password and then your store name. So we are going to use the etc. account. The name already exists, so let's input another word. So etc. online ph. Then let's create your store. So I just save the password so that for the next time that we will log in it's easier success your store is ready to go so tell us about yourself so i'm not selling products yet choose this one so since we are not yet starting the online shop so do you have something to sell so yes, I have product and I'll be ready to launch in a few weeks. So since we are not yet starting, let's choose the I'm get I'm just getting started. Then which industry? So we just choose since it would be a variety of products we will just choose the other and then are you setting up a store for a client so since this is our own store just ignore this part and then click next so add an address so you can get paid this will be used as your default business address So just input your address. Then make sure that you already know your postal code. So we don't have a website for this store yet. So let's just skip this one. Enter my store. So your trial just started. So there are plans which is available for your store. So normally, after the trial ends, you have to choose which plan you will be using for this store. So let's just explore. The packages would be there is a $13 per month, $54 per month, and a $107 month so they have different features according to the plans so it's up to you which one will you use so let's go back and either add product or customize thing already and then add domain so for the add domain since uh, we have no website yet we'll skip this one so let's proceed in customizing our store so customize theme. So it says uh, that your online store is password protected. So basically, since your online store is not yet live, it is up to you if you would already put it in public. So currently, since we are still on the process of making it, we'll just leave it as is and then 
after setting up everything, we can proceed with disabling the password. So let's see three teams, Shopify team store. Let's just go to the free teams. And you will have choices. So there are three, six, eight choices on which theme that you can use for your store. So let's see. Uh -huh. Let's use this one, the Brooklyn theme. This is the look of your team when you are viewing it over a computer or laptop and this one is the mobile view. So there are two styles included which is the playful and the classic. So this is the classic view. So let's see the difference of the playful view. Hmm. Right. So I think let's proceed with this one. The playful view and then add the team library now we can customize it this is the header uh, in Facebook this is the cover photo of your of your store so we can add a header and then slideshow and different styles for your store so basically this would be the look so let's try putting up some images so you will choose is available for reuse just go to tools For the images, let's see, these are the available photos that you can use, but let's drill down the usage rights. So it is important that the photo is labeled for reuse so that we would not have any problem in the future. So let's see. Let's include it to our header. So since we don't have any uploaded photos yet, and uh, your library is still empty. Let's try it again because it it's not appearing. We can also add a free image. We can actually edit
let's just put this as is first and then try to pay for the other product. So for example, you can add up your featured collections here. So let's try. Let's try. Featured collection. So you can input your details here and then add an image. So we can also organize it according to product type, vendor, directions, or tags. So let's put a tag about this for thumb. So save. It. So, okay. So we already added a product and then customized the team.
so let's put up our products. can be carried when traveling and use it to the mobile view this would be the mobile view while this is the Laptop view. So, publish it. So, it's very easy to create. All you have to do is input your email and then explore these tabs in order to maximize your Shopify account. products to our online shop so that when we go on live the products are already available in our website and that's it for today i hope you learned something from me and please comment down below if you have questions and i will try to answer it once i read your comments so thank you very much until next video thank you Oh,